Hey guys, Shelly Smith with Jiminy Crickets. Today we're talking about raising crickets in the winter. Spoiler alert, it's not like raising them in the summer. Here in central Iowa, the weather has definitely shifted, unfortunately, as you can see my winter coat right there hanging on the shelf. It has gotten cold. That being said, I mean it is the 7th of December. It should be cold in central Iowa. So we had an overnight low of seven degrees this morning, uh, so that pretty much sucks. But raising crickets in the winter does present certain challenges. Just because it's challenging doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it or that you can't do it, but there are some things to consider and some things to look out for. The first thing, obviously, is you are going to need more heat. So, hopefully, your facility, like wherever you are raising the crickets, is quite well insulated. Your crickets don't really care that it's seven degrees outside. They are expecting 85 to 90. That's what they thrive in, that's what they want. If your facility is not insulated enough to be able to, at the very least, maintain a temperature in the low 80s, you might wanna reconsider whether you grow the crickets over the winter or not. Not saying you can't do it, but um, there's certain efficiencies and conditions that you want as a baseline and if you can't do that because it's too cold outside and it doesn't allow you uh, at your current setup to be able to keep that heat that high with it being such a big factor in the overall growth cycle of the crickets I would probably recommend that you hang it up for the winter. The second thing is um, something that I've definitely not perfected in this barn and it is something that certainly impacts the population densities that I can have of the crickets as they grow, and that is a lack of a uh, heated fresh air inlet. Um, if I had to go back and rebuild this barn, I think that I would look at um, putting in some sort of heated air exchanger. They're very common in hog barns and other livestock barns here in Iowa, um, where it brings in outside fresh air preheats it before it releases into the facility so that you aren't, you know, changing the overall air temperature too much. I think if I had to, like I said, re-engineer this place, I would do something like that, seeing as how we have winter here in Iowa. It's something that, like I said, um, because I don't have as much of fresh air inlet, fresh air exchange, gas exchange as the crickets get larger becomes problematic. So that is unique to my setup. Your setup may be completely different. One question that really comes up a lot, and I truly don't have a lot of experience with messing around with it, is the photo period or the amount of light, the amount of natural light uh, that the crickets are exposed to. Our days are miserably short right now in the Midwest. Um, I think sunset is like 4.30. We are not quite to the shortest day of the year, so things are only getting darker for a while. Does this have an impact on the crickets? Truthful answer is I don't really know. Uh, I imagine it probably does. It has an effect on most animals, but I don't really know to which degree. I truly don't know what the optimal photo period is for the crickets. I don't, it doesn't make that big of a deal to me at this moment. Uh, but that is one variable that I have not played with very much. So that might be the cause of some slowdown with the crickets and it might not. One thing to note though, um, regardless of if you keep everything constant for the same as you would in the summer, so same photo period, same temperature, uh, same humidity, if you had some way to control your barometric pressure, um, same control of all of that, there are some really well-funded uh, corporate insectaries that I know some people at that they do all of these things including very frequent fresh air exchange all of the things are completely controlled and optimized for the insect colonies that they keep no matter what they do the insects across all breeds across all species slow down in the winter that makes me think without any sort of scientific grounds or anything, that the crickets and other insects are on some sort of circadian rhythm that we don't necessarily understand, um, and that they know even though we are controlling all of what appears to be all of their uh, external factors that might impact their growth. 
So the main thing um, to understand, especially if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, um, Northern Hemisphere, not necessarily if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, if you are in Northern Latitudes, or I suppose it's reversed on the south side of the world, um, if you have a winter where it gets cold and it gets dark, chances are your crickets are, are going to slow down. Your production is not going to be as high. Your building is not going to be as efficient. Um, you're going to have increased heating costs. You are not going to get as high yields as you otherwise would. Like, There's many factors that are just out of your control. So you are probably going to have to do some math on your side to see if you can even in the worst case scenario, can you produce enough out output to justify an overall increased heat bill? Um, if you're going to mess with the photo periods, increase electric bill for, for the light as well. Those are all going to be very um, situation specific, so I, I can't really advise you anyway on that one. I will tell you that we do see a downturn in, in performance in terms of yield and efficiency and all of those things. Like I said, multi-factor there with air exchange and and I think just overall slowing down of the crickets themselves. So things to consider, uh, but I would say your biggest rock in the winter, if you can keep it constant, keep it warm. Um, it doesn't matter what time of year you're raising the crickets, the temperature fluctuations are going to really impact your growth cycle. So having that consistent temperature will help um, shall we say weed out the other factors that might impact your overall yield. So raising crickets in the winter, like I said, it can be done. Uh, they're it's very situation dependent. Um, depending on your setup, you should be able to still do okay in the winter, but that is going to be an individual calculation for everyone. We do still raise in the winter, um, though it definitely is not as good or as profitable as it is in the summer months. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have watched this far, please consider liking, subscribing, comment, share, all of the things. And uh, thanks for being here. Woo!